Tonight, Robert Woods welcomes his special guest, wide receiver Greg Salas. Hi, I'm Dave Jixer from 97 Rock. After a rough start to the season, can our team tackle the challenges ahead? We're going to find out. I'm Sarah O'Brien up from 1033 The Edge. What are your comments and questions for Robert? Find out in the Digital Zone. The Robert Wood Show on WBBZ TV is presented by Gelber and O'Connell, your car accident and injury law firm. Mighty Taco, do the cue. Mighty Taco's new quesadilla styled burritos. And DeGraff Hospital, because we see people, not just patients. And now, from the WBBZ TV studio from 97 Rock, here's co host Dave Jixter. And welcome to the Robert Wood Show. I have number 11, Greg Salas, over to my left, and number 10, Robert Woods, over to my left, also. How about a big round of applause for you guys? Thanks, Dave. Thanks for, uh, thanks for showing up, gentlemen. And Robert, I'll let you uh, take it. It's your show, so I'll let you ask yeah. uh, uh, your special guest uh, the first question. Yeah, our first question for Mr. Salas is, uh, how was it going to school in Hawaii? How did you stay focused and not stay out of, uh, and stay out of water, stay out of surfing and stuff? Yeah, that was pretty hard, you know. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> class, University of Hawaii. class or the beach, you know, that's kind of the, the <laughs> dilemma every day. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a great program, uh, great coaches that kept us in check. and. Uh, you know, a great school, so it wasn't too hard to go to, to class, and you could still you could still hit the sunsets at the beach. So it's nice. And, and how hard is it for you to play in Buffalo? You know, with the, with the colder it's the weather. Same weather, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's nice. It's been beautiful here, and uh, you know, it's nice to get the seasons and the snow. So uh, that's fun football. It's fun. Robert, let's talk a little football. Uh, obviously, uh, a big news. Uh, first of all, the offense struggled uh, again, uh, with the exception of a few big plays, Greg, that you were involved in. We'll get to that in just a little bit. But uh, Greg Roman is now gone. So, first of all, how do you guys, how do the players as a team feel about that? Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, it was, we were shocked, you know, just to hear, you know, our offense corner early in the season, you know, uh, getting relieved of, of his duties. Um, it was shocking, you know, but. Uh, you know, we, we needed some changes, and they, they made changes upstairs, uh, left on the players to, to turn the season around. Did Rex uh, get the team together after the firing and, and talk to you guys to, to make sure the team is together? Yeah, he spoke with us uh, Friday right after. Um, you know, first thing that came out of his mouth, uh, he let the team know um, why and told us, you know, we need to make plays. We got to turn around. So is there a, a game plan of how to do that? Do, do they know what the problem is? Can they pinpoint it? Was it just the play calling? No, of course not. You know, it's always still an execution at the end of the day. But um, as players and as a team, uh, we need to make the plays that he's calling. And, um, you know, they, they, they went upstairs with it in the fire round. Greg, what do you know about Anthony Lynn? Obviously, running backs coach. He's been in the league for a while, and now he's our offensive coordinator. What do you know about him? Yeah, I've been with A. Lynn a couple of years and with the Jets prior to this. So, uh, you know, he's a great leader. He's a real personable guy. I mean, he can go talk to every player and, uh, you know, get the feel of the, of the team and the offense. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's a great leader, and I'm looking forward to him with this opportunity that he has in front of him. Are the players generally happy there's been a change? Uh, both of you guys. I, mean, <laughs> I would say just one of the biggest thing. Um, I wouldn't say happy or sad, but it's one of the biggest thing. I would say that uh, Alan, you know, asked the players, asked the running backs, asked the Charles Clay and the tight ends and the receivers. You know, what do you like? What do you like in his offense? What what plays or what routes do you like? I think that's one of the biggest things. Would you say? Yeah, definitely. You know, he's getting a, a feel for everybody and you know how to best utilize everybody. Um, but you never like to see anybody get fired or go. Yeah. You know, Greg Roman put in a lot of time and effort with this team, and uh, you know, I hope I, I wish the best for him going forward as well. Uh, Tyrod Taylor, uh, for the most part, I mean, the, the whole offense basically has had his good points, but more more bad points um, this year. Is Tyrod Taylor is he struggling because of the play calling, or is he allowed to check plays or call audibles? Uh, he is. It's, it's a lot on his plate. No, he's uh, he has to know a whole lot. Um, and Greg, 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 Greg Roman's offense was very, very complicated. And advanced had so much stuff in um, where I wouldn't say you couldn't, you know, focus or pinpoint, you know. So sometimes, you know, there was errors on receivers standpoint, low lineman standpoint, 
pretty much a land is going to run you know pretty much same offense but we just simplify it and uh, just allows Tyrod to make simple reads get the ball out quick and they would just spread the ball around let's talk about something positive um, Greg you had a huge <laughs> touchdown catch in front of a sold-out crowd on national TV the biggest catch of your career tell us about that oh I mean exciting I, I, I kind of blacked out a little bit <laughs> once I got towards the end zone but uh, you know it's something I, I've been envisioning my whole career and uh, you know, I'm, fine, uh, I'm happy it finally happened for me like that. So, uh, and no better time to do it than in front of a, a packed stadium and national TV than, uh, you know, that's the best stage to do it. Uh, Robert was a little concerned about your celebration um, <laughs> because he, when he scores, he's not going to know what to do now. But uh, yeah, I, was, seen, I seen Marquise Goodwin uh, with the long jump. Yeah. Uh, he, you know, he stuck it. And then I seen Salas with the flip. And I'm like, man, if I score, what am I going to have to jump out the stadium or something? I had to like top them off, but uh, a great celebration, you know, and uh, big plays, you know, big plays for the offense. And after the game um, in the locker room, or 2-0, and excuse me, 0-2 now, mm -hmm. um, and we got a big game this week. I mean, it's almost like it's a, it, well, it is a, a must win going into week three. I would say so. Just uh, also a must win, and the offense definitely has to come through. You know, they made a change upstairs. Uh, you know, we need to win for A-Land now, you know, we need to win for Rex, you know, make these plays and um, definitely get a win. Greg Salas, Robert Woods will be back with them and next we will hear from you when Sarah O'Brien from 1033 The Edge reads your tweets from the Draft Memorial Hospital Digital Zone. We will be right back. And welcome back to the Robert Woods Show here on WBBZ TV. I'm Dave Jixter from 97 Rock. Gentlemen, I'll ask both of you, a new offensive coordinator. Uh, you guys know who he is. He's been in the league for a while. Is he going to make the offense uh, more workable and simplify it, perhaps? I think so. Uh, I think that's one of the, his main, his main um, speech was for us, just to simplify things and just get a lot, get a lot more plays out, you know. Um, make it easy for Tyrod, make it easy for the wideouts, and um, just make it easy reads for players to make plays. Yeah, I think he wants to make it where, you know, players aren't thinking as much. I think players were thinking a lot um, in, the last other, in the last couple games where, uh, you know, it's kind of hindering their performance a little yeah. bit. So I think now we can play faster, uh, you know, get a, a core group of plays down and, and expand from there. But, uh, you know, making players play faster without thinking is going to help us out. Yeah. Good, that's good to hear. I'm looking forward to seeing some, some offense. Uh, before Greg Roman was fired, rumor has it that they had a, a bunch of select offensive players in a room together and had a little meeting. Uh, first of all, were either one of you guys at that meeting? And then if you were, what happened or what went on? Yeah, I wasn't there. Yeah, I, no, I was not there. <laughs> but um, kind of seen it go down. You know, uh, stretching, um, we were in team stretch or uh, getting ready to lift. And uh, just Doug Whaley came down, calling our players. Uh, and just seeing him jet off and you knew it was serious and the next meeting we heard was next thing we heard was you know Rex talking to us letting us know but um didn't expect it to be so so drastic we I thought it was going to be personally going to players you know Doug Way tell us to step up make plays but um you know he went in that direction kind of surprising after the second game is the team still intact yeah definitely you know it's a, it's a long season and we only lost two uh and we can still get our wins in and it starts this week with Arizona all right, let's check in with my good friend Sarah O'Brien from my sister station, 1033 The Edge. And the Digital Zone is presented by the Graf Memorial Hospital because we see people, not just patients. Sarah, take it away. Hey, thanks, Dave. Welcome to the Digital Zone. Make sure you're following along with us on our Twitter at WBBZ and at Robert Woods Show to get your questions in. We're also on Facebook at WBBZ. Our first question comes from Facebook, and both of you guys can answer it. It's from Paul Joseph. He wants to know what your opinion on play calling on third downs is. I think uh, as a wide receiver, I think we should always pass the ball on third down. <laughs> uh, of course you do. Oh, I second that, yeah. Second uh, that. yeah <laughs> even on second down. But uh, just, uh, just, you know, first off, you know, get, get the first down. Uh, move the ball, you know, no penalties. Um, you know, set it up on first and second down to where it's not a long, long third down and, and just execute. You know, the play. Yeah, we got to make our third downs a lot more uh, winnable. You know, you can't be getting in third and long situations. You can't be shooting yourselves in the foot with negative plays and penalties. So, you know, the, the shorter it is, the, the easier it's going to be to convert. And give that defense a break, too. They're on the field a long time. Yeah, definitely got to convert for them as well. Our next question comes from Facebook. Again, this one's from Emily. She wants to know what the biggest difference between Greg Roman's and Anthony Lynn's coaching styles are. 
<laughs> as of uh, as of day one, um, <laughs> as of day one, uh, you know, I would say, a Lynn is more allowing other coaches to step up and, and fill in because this is his first time uh, being a coordinator. So he's he's allowing. Um, Sanjay, you know, to put his input on the, on the pass. He's allowing Cromer to put his input on on the run game and the protections and the blocking. So I would say that's probably the biggest different style change is him, you know, asking coaches to step up and do this together. And I think that's the biggest thing. They're leaning on us, and we're leaning on them as well. You think you'll put it like a little razzle dazzle into the offense, like a triple flea flicker or anything like that? Uh, I mean, we we need some excitement right now. You know, we're down 0-2 uh, in the season. Uh, we need some big plays, you know, whatever it is, flea flicker or, uh, you know, throw another bomb to South again, see what you can do. <laughs> about to hit Woods on the next one, so uh, we'll see what, what kind of flip he does in this next one. Yeah, really, good work yeah. on that. Careful, <laughs> got to practice. And our last one comes from Loretta on Facebook. Hopefully you guys are a fan of reality TV. Even though Croy Bierman wasn't with, with us for very long, did you get a chance to meet his wife, reality star Kim Zolciak, were they, when, when they were in town? If so, what was your first impression of them? No, well, yes and no. Uh, you know, first impression, you know, everyone knows the wife, but didn't know um, the, the husband. But um, <laughs> so that was like one of the biggest things. Everybody was like, yeah, we know his wife. We see his wife on TV. And then first impression, just seeing her, seeing her driving him and driving uh, across, leaving the parking lot during a training camp. But uh, no interactions with him, with him or, or his wife. Um, but um, Almost had a, a superstar out here, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I saw her in the parking lot where Same. we were living one time and, uh, you know, walked past her. That was it, you know, other than my mom texting me, have you met her yet? I'm like, who? <laughs> so, you know, uh, but yeah, uh, you didn't have too much interaction with them, no. Yeah. All right, Sarah, is that, is that it? That's it. Thanks, Dave. Thank you Dave. very much. You can always tweet your questions or follow WBBZ TV on Facebook. So thanks to Sarah O'Brien in the Digital Zones presented by DeGraff Memorial Hospital because we see people, not just patients. When we come back, we're going to connect with Robert from the studio audience. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Connect with Robert with the Mighty Q Questions of the Week. Mighty Taco's new quesadilla grill press style burritos are available now at Mighty Taco. Chicken, steak, or just say cheese. The Mighty Q is the perfect way to do the Q. And welcome back to the Robert Wood Show. Dave Dixon from 97 Rock. And we have number 11 and number 10 here. Number 10, we'll take it away. It's your show and your segment. Go. Welcome to the show. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, Dennis Osgood from Blackport, and uh, what did you guys do during the off season? Uh, this off season, I uh, went to school, graduated, uh, but workout-wise, I, I stayed on the track. You know, I was uh, getting on, getting on my workouts, trying to get some speed, and uh, that was pretty much the most thing I worked on this off season. What about you? Uh, I actually took a around the world trip with my fiance and now my wife, so uh, that took up uh, a lot of time with us. So yeah, <laughs> so, uh, congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So around the world the honeymoon. Yeah, well, it wasn't a honeymoon; it was a graduation <laughs> gift for her from her dad. So um, I got to tag along with her. So it was. I mean, it was epic. It was awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. How you doing? Welcome. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Nadine Kowalski from Orchard Park. And what's your question? Okay, I would like to know. What you say, well, both of you, what you say or what um, defensive backs say to you when you catch a pass that's well defended? Uh, oh, we already yeah, know Robert talking. Yeah, <laughs> I talk to that. I don't, I don't yeah. like when they Maybe talk. Yeah, uh, I mean, when they get up, they just talk trash, get in your face, you know, t call you sorry, or, you know, way you're not going to get a catch. Um, or go back to the bench, something like that. They always try to yeah, throw yeah, to slick in. Yeah, that's the G-rated version I say of that. So I mean, uh, you know, we try to keep it clean on here. So I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty much what, what's going on, though. Yeah. Exactly. And you guys thrive on that too. You love yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it, it builds it builds energy. Um, it's competition. It makes you want to go even harder. Yeah, it gets you hyped for the game. Gets yeah. you more involved, and uh, you know, you want to make that play now. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, I'm Thomas from Amherst, uh, and I was wondering for both of you what your favorite uh, Bills uniform is to wear, mine being the red color rush and the blue on blue. Yeah, I love uh, the blue on blue. Uh, but new favorite, the red. The red looks pretty good, you know, just because you get to wear the red cleats with it, it it's pretty cool. But. Um, you know, I, th I don't know if you wore the blue on blue yet, have you? Yeah, I wore blue on blue one time last year, so uh, that, that was pretty cool. But I definitely am a fan of the red ones as well. Yeah. I know it's on Madden now. You play Madden? Um, 
Metamobile. Yeah, they have the, the Bill's Color Rush on there now. It's pretty cool, yeah. huh? Yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> Did you guys ever like get in the huddle and say, come on, Tyrod, I was open. You didn't see me? Come on. Do you ever like, you know, kind of like joke around in the huddle a little bit? Or? Uh, sometimes, you know, especially, you know, uh, when you want to play, you try to, you try to get his attention, uh, let him know uh, to look for, you know, you let him know and send his head. It might come your way. Yeah, especially if it's a play you've been working on during the week and, you know, you've, you've been catching and getting open on it. So uh, you might give them a little heads up, you know, on the sideline or before they go and call that play that, hey, look out for me on this one. Yeah, yeah. and on the sidelines too, do you talk to the coaches and say, hey, this guy, you know, I, I can beat him after five yards? I mean, you guys communicate down there? All the time. Definitely, the time, yeah. Definitely. We're, we're meeting up with coaches, Sanjay, and then we're, we're going over plays, looking at how guys uh, and their leverage and what we could beat him on, you know, when he goes to Tyrod gets it in and we try to call those plays. Probably more so this week, there'll be more communication down more there. More so this week, yeah, more so this week and what we like. All right, thanks to Robert and our studio audience, thanks to them, and someone's gonna receive a $25 gift card to Mighty Taco, that's pretty cool. Next, we're gonna play the Hot Shot Football Challenge. We'll be right back. The Hot Shot Football Challenge is brought to you by Gelber and O'Connell, your car accident and injury law firm. Call 633-5050. Welcome back to WBBZ TV's Robert Wood Show, and we're it's time to play the Hot Shot Football Challenge, sponsored by Gelber and O'Connell, and we have two teams here. We have team uh, Greg Salas, and who's your teammate there? That's my man, Tori. Tori, here. Tori. all right, Tori, you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, and then okay. Team Robert Woods, who do we have here? I got my man Nick right here, he's ready. He's Nick, you ready? Yeah. All right, pal, start okay, us Nick. off here. You're playing for Let's a go, $25 Nick. Muddy Taco red card, which is big prize here. Mm. No pressure, go right ahead whenever you're ready. He's ready, too. Whoa, he's got an arm. Did that go in? Almost. All right, Robert, you did well last week. Let's see how you do this week. There. Team Robert Woods won nothing. All right, go, go on up there. Good luck to you. We'll get the balls out of the way here. Almost. Almost. Greg, go right ahead. Oh, it's all tied up 1-1. One, one. So here we go. All right, Nick. Oh, just a little bit outside. And Tori, step right up there. And it's all tied up again. We're going to try this one more time here. You guys are doing good. All right, Nick. Oh, he's so close. And Tori, go right ahead. All tied up. We are going into overtime here. So go ahead, Robert. Let's see what you have for the win. And he sinks another one. So Greg, the pressure's on you. If you don't make this, it's over. And that $25 red Mighty Taco gift card. Oh, it's all tied up. This game will go on and on and on. We will figure out who wins this. And then again, congratulations to whoever wins this, a $25 Mighty Taco uh, red gift card. And Sarah, it's officially tied, right? tied up so we will decide who wins this during the break and when we come back the keys to beating the Arizona Cardinals a very good football team and a must-win situation for our hometown football team we'll be right back here at WBBZ TV Dave Jinkster's wardrobe is provided by my stylist at Macy's welcome back to Delver and McConnell Hot Shot Zone and actually the first ball on your team went in you know, I didn't see it from where I was standing, kind of like an official in the NFL. So anyway, they, they're both going to get $25 uh, red Money Taco gift cards. And uh, before we get to the keys to beating the Arizona Cardinals, I have an autographed Robert Woods helmet. Uh, this Thursday and Friday on 97 Rock, we're going to kick off our 22nd annual Make-A-Wish Radiothon. You can call in, you can pledge to hear any song you want. You can also bid on un unique items like this autographed Robert Woods football helmet. And all the money will stay local for Make-A-Wish, so tune in to 96.9. Buffalo's 97 Rock. Robert, Greg, keys to beating the Arizona Cardinals. We need to beat these guys. Yes, uh, keys to beat them. You know, offense, you know, they have some great great guys in the secondary, great defensive linemen. Mm -hmm. But uh, we got to execute. We got to go out there and, and, and win for Aileen, do better on third downs. And for our defense, you know, they're going to have to fly around and stop Carson. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, those receivers they have on there, that, that right. offense, I mean, would they just score 40 last game? So, you know, our work's cut out for us definitely, but uh, it's going to be a big test for us, and I'm looking forward to it. Exactly. Sarah and Brian, wouldn't it be great to see a touchdown from both of these guys? Maybe yeah. two touchdowns. <laughs> yeah, great, great to be at home. Great to be at home. <laughs> <laughs> 
special thanks to you guys for coming out, our studio audience. We are going to do this again next Monday, and we're going to talk about a big Buffalo win. So looking forward to it. Thanks for watching, and thanks for signing this helmet. We'll see you Thursday on the radio.